Hi, welcome to the Bonsai Matsu YouTube channel. Today I'll be working on this beautiful Japanese black pine. It needs a bit of a bit of a tidy up. It's autumn winter work that we'll do. So it'll uh, get needle plucked, bud selected, bit of wiring, and just be made look um, look really, really nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is give my tools a nice clean. Working with pines especially, you find that um, there's a lot of sap, which means your, your tools can become quite dirty quite quickly. I like to be nice and sharp for all of my work, but particularly with um, with working with pines, I like to make sure the cuts are as clean as possible. So so prep your tools nice and early. Then I'll start working through, obviously there's some, some areas that have grown a bit too, too tall, too large. I'll start working my way through from the top down, doing the clean out first, and then I'll start with the wiring coming up. So, time for a, time for a tool clean. So, a couple of things I do with cleaning tools: use a, a rust cleaner. It's not a sharpening stone; it's just um, to remove the sap buildup on the blades, get them nice and clean, so there's no um, no separation of the blades due to all of the buildup on them. And the second thing I do. Is give them a, a sharpen. Yeah, I do this on a regular basis. This is between almost every single tree, and sometimes large trees like this one, the blades will be cleaned and sharpened maybe three or four times throughout the process, just to make sure that they are um, they're perfect. They're as good as they can possibly be. The other thing I use is my tweezers, and tweezers can get uh, inside the 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 little beveled part there you can find that, that can get quite a build up of, of sap in there. So when you're plucking on the needles, you'll find it'll actually slip off the needles as opposed to grabbing and biting hard and being able to firmly work the, the needles. So using just a little, little blowtorch, get in there, burn the residue, like that. Now watch out, because they are going to be stinking hot using this, something like this. Then. Just get a wire brush. And remove the, um, the burnt residue. Comes out nice and easy that way. Now the tools are ready to go. process you'll see is to remove old needles, which are the ones further back. Leave, leave a few pairs, not a lot. Don't need a lot on there. Then look at where after decandling, there's more than two buds. You want to come back to always two, two buds at any one spot. So then make a choice as to which one suits the area that you're in. Remove the other, try and keep them so they're pretty consistent in, in strength. And then if need be, you can pluck back some of the, the new needles as well on those, those buds, just to um, balance the strength and resources in that area. Okay, so that's the apex thinned out, cleaned up. The, um, the excess needles removed. You can see it makes quite a bit of a mess as you work your way down the tree. 
which is why you should start at the top and work your way down because by the time you finish the tree, it'll be nice and clean. So I'll, uh, I'll keep working my way through the other branches now. So we've got about four regions to go here, 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 and, and here. And I just want to point out the difference between sort of the, the area that's been done and the area that hasn't been done. You'll notice there's a nice sort of sharp definition for the needles that have been left around on the uh, the branches that have been worked. All all sort of come off in, a, off in a really nice cluster. And that's important, really important for the um, for the health of the tree, but also for it's beautiful nature as well and a lot of sunlight and air now can get into the inner area of the buds which is really important for that the bud conveyor you know the the inner buds that will replace the outer buds sooner or later so this work not only does it is it very satisfying from the point of view that you can really make your pine look beautiful but it's actually really good for the health of the tree too to open it up and let a lot more sunlight and air into those areas Well, that's it. Needle plucked, bud selected, cleaned up. Looking really nice again. Nice sharp division of pads. Needles all flowing the right way. Inner buds protected for the future. Not much more to say, really. It's a um, it's a really nice tree. I like this one. I've developed this for a long, long time, and it's um, it's coming on coming on very nicely. Still some more work to do. As you can see, there's a few little patches around the place. I'd like to um, ramify a bit further, but. All in all, it's, um, it's a really nice black pine. So thanks for sticking around. 
Till next time, happy bonsai. Make sure you stay in touch and subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, happy bonsai.